What's up, guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name is Adam, and I'm a full time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today, I've got another what's sold video for you guys. It has been a wild weekend. We have so many big sales, tons of profit to be made. So stay tuned in this video. I'm going to show everything that sold from over this weekend, where I got it, how much I paid for it. And at the end of the video, we'll get into the total profit I made on everything. All right, we're actually gonna start here the night before. I sold so many inflatables, it's not even funny. And I'm packaging these up in the night before because I don't have time or the room to get all this. So I'm probably going to hit the post office first before I even start into everything that's sold on the tables like normal. But anyways, we got this Haunted Mansion inflatable, called this out in bread and butter for $140 at Lowe's and sold it on Amazon for 260 bucks. Then we've already sold about eight of these. Again, I went out to the warehouse and brought these back to the garage where I'm packaging these all up right now. But anyways, I got the buy box on these on Amazon. I'm selling them for $180 a pop. And you guys know I got them for $45 from that local shop in that video that I made. And then here, this is a giant mummy like skeleton from Lowe's as well. That was $359 and I sold it for $630. And it's going global shipping program. So eBay to Kentucky, it'll probably cost like 50, 60 bucks to ship. Easy money there. I also sold this Corgi I got at the same place as those Hocus Pocus sisters. It was 50% off, so $25. But these things sell out super quick every year, even when Target stocks them. And I got 85 bucks for this. So just thought I would cover all this because it's all going to be in those final numbers. Rise and grind, guys. It is morning. My dad had a load to take to the post office, so he took all of my Hocus Pocus USPS ones. That one's going UPS as well as this big mummy right here that I'm going to finish packaging up and then I'm going to put them out for pickup. I scheduled a pickup and they should be coming at any time now. And then I will be heading out to the warehouse. We're all charged up and ready to go. Let's get it. And because I know I'll get asked this, yes, UPS does actually charge for pickup. It was like 13 bucks, but time is money. I don't have a car to transport those today and I need to just get going and packaging. So sometimes I'll pay for that pickup and it's just a business write-off. All right, here we go, guys. Everything that sold from Friday night through today, Monday morning, crazy, crazy weekend. We're gonna start right here. Same place we left off last night. We sold four more of these on Amazon at $180 a pop. Again, we got them 50% off of that price. So about 45 bucks a pop. And actually my shipping estimations were way off on these. They can actually go UPS ground or priority cubic, depending whichever is cheapest. And they've only been costing me between like 10 and $18 to ship. So super easy. Then over here, we're gonna get over into some hats. I actually didn't show this. I picked this up my last day in Dallas. I got, I think, six of these. That's all they had. They were $10 at the Nike clearance store, and I'm flipping them for $26 a piece. Five bucks here on this hat and sold it for 20 bucks. We got this Yankees hat from Burlington for $10. It's pretty cool. It's got the USA and the Yankee logo, and I sold that for $28. We got this Kappa hat here. Sold this for $26 and paid $10 at TJ Maxx. Got another $5 hat here, Bengals, and sold that for $30. Um, I believe this one was $5 as well. The $27.99 is not accurate. Five bucks though, sold it for $20. We got this Akron Zips camo hat here. $2.99 at TJ Maxx, just sold it for $17. We got 12 bucks for this Cleveland Indians hat that was $1 at Marshalls. Kind of a really cheap hat. That's why I can't sell it for a ton. Then we got the VCU 47 hat that was $5.99 at Marshalls, sold that for $20. Bucks. We got the LeBron Nike hat, pretty cool here. We called this out in bread and butter actually. These were $10, I can't remember where from, but I sold it for $26. Then we've got this Aggies hat here that was $2.99 at Marshalls, and I sold that for $18 on eBay. Green Bay Packers hat here, and this was, I believe from Hibbit for like 10 bucks. Sold that bad boy for $30. I've had that for like two or three years. Again, hats are a long-term game. I have so many hats. It's not even funny. If you're trying to get into quick flips or quick money, do not start selling hats because it's not going to happen. They take a while to sell. You got to find the right buyer. We got this barstool hat. This was $10 actually, and I sold this for $28. Then despite the Mets actually losing a couple days ago, they literally are still buying their hats. I'm selling two to three of these a day, even after they lost. But anyways, these were $6 at Nordstrom Rack. If you guys remember me talking about that clearance event online, I believe Cole called that out and I'm selling those for $30 a pop. And I think I sold eight of those. Then we've got this Montana Grizz hat. This was from a B-stock load where I got a bunch of random small school beanies. I think it was two or $3 a piece. 
And this is a kid's size, which most of them were adult, so I was happy about that. And I've sold a lot of the adult ones, but the kids I'm just getting 10 bucks for, just trying to move them. And we've got this New York Giants beanie here. This was probably a couple bucks at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I took the tag off already, apparently. Again, yes, you always want to take the TJ Maxx or Marshalls tags off of these things. Because why would you want someone to see that you paid $2.99 for this if they paid $18 or whatever they paid? Leave the MSRP tags on right here. Take the Marshalls tags off. Anyways, I sold this for $18. And then we've got this lanyard here. This was from Rock Bottom Golf actually a couple years ago. They were liquidating a bunch of stuff. I just got these PGA Championship lanyards for like 50 cents. It was when I was really trying to just get my inventory up with a lot of random things. And I sell about one a month of those, just getting like nine bucks a piece. But again, it was such a low buy cost. I was just trying to get my inventory up. Then this, I got at my bins, so 50 cents. And I sold it for $17.99. Then we got this Houston Astros shirt here. I got this at Ross, actually, for $9.99. Pretty cool Nike Astros shirt. And I sold that for 30 bucks. We got this sugar sheet here, and that was in a pallet a long time ago. I'm definitely way in the profit there, and I'm just getting 10 bucks a piece for those. Someone bought two of these Amazon Basics bags. I don't know why I only grabbed one, because they bought two of those. Anyways, though, that was a price error that we called out in bread and butter. You got an entire case of these for the price of one, so it was actually $15 for a case of 10 of them, and I'm selling them for $15 a pop. Now we've got this boys in the hoodie here. We got this yellow tagged at Marshalls for like 10 or 12 bucks and I sold it for $35 on eBay. We got these at my bins as well. So 50 cents. These are just some Encanto gift bags and I sold those for just 10 bucks. Easy first class ship. These were bread and butter call outs as well. All of these Hocus Pocus Squishmallows. These were from Kroger branded stores. They sold out within days of them stocking. A lot of us ate up on those. And these were $8 a piece, so $24 for the set. And I'm selling each set for $60. Bucks. Easy first class ship. These things weigh nothing. Then we've got this Clemson Columbia jacket. I got a TJ Maxx for $27. I don't normally have offers on items, but for some reason I did on this one. Someone sent me an offer for $80, bucks, and I've had that for like almost a year. So I decided to just take it, take my profits and run there. Then we've got this San Diego Padres Lego thing. I got this from a Lids palette. We're definitely in the profit there, so I don't even know what I have in it. Probably like 50 cents to a dollar per unit it was. Anyways, though, I sold that for $18 on Mercari. Then we've got all these undies here. I sell those for $30 a pop on eBay and Mercari. And again, we got those in that huge Kohl's clearance event, and they were anywhere from $9 to $12 a pop. Then we've got my last box of Max earplugs. Sad, sad times. We've moved so many of these from that Habitat for Humanity palette. Hopefully, I'm able to go back and find more, but we will see. But I'm selling these for $23 a piece. Then we've got this. This was at Meyer for like $12.99. I already peeled the tag off. Just selling those for $35. And it fits perfectly in the padded mailer. Then we've got these Oakley Shields here. I don't have many of these left. This was a bread and butter call out a couple weeks ago. $24 into $50 every single time. Now let's come on over to the shoes. So we picked these up in Dallas. You guys watched me pick these up. I honestly can't remember. I have so many different prices on all those that I picked them up. I want to say those were probably around $40 because I sold them for 95. They could have been way less than that. But like I said, I picked up so many like similar styles. It's hard to remember exactly what I paid for them, but we moved them for 95 bucks. Then we've got these Sanuk loafers. Shout out to Caleb. He called these out during that Kohl's clearance event, anywhere from like 13 to $15. Again, I can't remember exact prices. I'm just pulling all of this off the top of my head. Sold those for 40 bucks. All of these Crocs, which were all called out in bread and butter. We've got these beach ones. Those were from that Crocs clearance event. These things were 20 bucks, selling for 50 bucks. These lined pink ones were $20, selling those for 48. Same thing on these exact white ones. They're the same type. They're the lined Crocs, 20 to 48. Then these were $15, I believe, and sold those for $42. And then my last pair of Lightning McQueens, I got these actually free because I got these using more Mercari referral money. Again, I like to use that referral money and turn it into real money. So I buy things that'll sell quick. Someone sold me these for $110, no idea why. But again, I used $110 in referral money, so it was free. And I flipped them on eBay for $130. And you know I got to do it. Ka ciao. Anyways, though, we told members about these when they hit the stores and online, and we absolutely ate up on those. Then we've got all of these Cowboys patches. These were from a pallet a while back. I still have an entire, like, bag of them back here, like hundreds. I sell them in lots of three for $10, and this person bought three lots of three. Same thing for these wristbands here. I sell those in lots of three for $10, and you can see how many I sold. Then over here, we got this from my bins as well. It's a PVC, like, tablecloth, like a really thick, nice tablecloth. Sold it for $16, 
And again, it is over a pound, but I can fold that bad boy up and get it in a padded mailer and still make some money. Again, it was 50 cents. So I'm just trying to make quick money on those 50 cents. We've got these Stay Loyals. I thought last week I sold the last pair of these. This is actually my last pair of Stay Loyals. Sad times. You guys have seen me sell these in like every single What's Sold video. I think I've sold over 50 pairs of these. It's been a good time. These were bread and butter lead for $45, selling them for $100 all day long. We've got these Kyries here. Um, Hayden called these out. These were, I believe, $55 and selling them for $110. Then these are from one of my local liquidation places as well. Little Spider-Man shoes, $3.50. How do I turn that down? I bought several cases of those. And I even bought some to wholesale out to the group and selling those for $20 a pop. They're just under a pound too. Then we've got these Vans here. I honestly don't remember where I even got these. Um, I sold them for $35, so... If I was guessing, I probably got these for around like 12 bucks or I wouldn't have picked them up. Then we've got these Converse. These were called out in bread and butter. These were $22 during that Kohl's clearance event. They're just standard white Converse. And I'm just selling them for retail, 55 bucks. Not making a ton, but I knew they would move super quick. So it was more of a volume play. And I've sold probably about half of those. I bought about 30 pairs and I've sold about 15. Then we've got these Simpson slides. These were like 12 or $15 from that Kohl's clearance event. And I'm selling them for $40 a pop easy money hey if you watched my uh how ebay's changing their shoes video you would have seen these these were in the thumbnail and i use these as an example i said i didn't know what these things were worth and i said let's just say they're worth 120 dollars. well they are not i sold these for 60 dollars. these are from my friend james personal collection um he was just liquidating a bunch of that out and sold them to me for about 22 23 bucks a pair so that was nice now we've got these easy slides um, I believe it's the resin. Yeah, those tanked a little bit. Those were 72 bucks and I just got 110 for them. Just gonna make a little money on those. Probably could have held out for a little more, but you never know when Yeezy's gonna just drop a bunch of stock. Then over here, we got these from the Nike clearance store. Um, I think I actually picked these up in a video I've yet to edit. I believe these were $64 for these Air Maxes. I really wanted to keep these, but I'm not a big yellow guy. I literally wish these were any color but yellow. And I would probably keep a pair of these. They're in my size too. But anyways, we're flipping these for $115 a pop. Then lastly, we got these Air Griffies. Shout out to Hayden on the call out. This was a volume play as well. Not super high profits. I believe they were $105, $110. But selling all day for $170. So I picked up a couple pairs. And I think I have literally one or two pairs left. We just had a couple more things come in. I'm trying to set my record for this weekend. So we're going to count these. We got this football. We got another Oakley Shield. And we got this desk over here I actually forgot to mention. Easy, easy money, guys. What a weekend. So that is everything that sold this weekend, guys. Now we're going to package everything up and we'll get into the final numbers. Folks, it's almost Christmas. Quarter four is officially here. And to the person who keeps commenting on all of my what sold videos that my sales are fake and that I'm packaging all of this stuff up just for views because I make a lot of money on YouTube. Would I really go through fake packaging all of this stuff for every what sold video to pull 1,000 views and make $5 from YouTube? That seems like a lot of work. Now let's get into those final numbers. On eBay, we sold 63 items for $3,661. On Amazon, we sold 19 items for $2,099. And on Mercari, we sold four items for $102 for a total of 86 items sold for $5,862 in gross sales. Now, as always, to get our net profit, we need to take out all of our costs. So take out our cost of goods sold of $1,815, our shipping $426, and our fees of $730 for a total net profit this weekend of $2,891. Now, as always, let's multiply that by 52 to see what we would do just in net profit on the weekends, not counting the weekdays. 150 grand a year if I did that every single weekend. Obviously, normally I'm closer to like $1,000, but this weekend we sold a lot of inflatables, a lot of Christmas and Halloween items already, and quarter four is here. People are going to buy more. We are officially entering the holiday season, and I'm hoping to continue to do these type of numbers. I'm hoping that the $5,800 is not my record. Last year, I think I hit like six or 7,000 one weekend, and I'd love to try to do that again see how many sales I can make on a weekend. And again, guys, this is just what sold from Friday night through today, Monday morning. 
I ship Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have two business handling days on. I just don't have time to film videos every single day and edit all of those. So I just do a sample video every week just to show the types of things I'm selling. As you guys have seen in a lot of these What Sold videos, I pretty much sell the same types of things just over and over again. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. Also, if you heard me mention my Discord cook group, Bread and Butter, you can join. First link in the description. Here's everything that we're about. And you can also check out our website which is the link in the description, and that will tell you everything you need to know about our group and how to join. Again, guys, I don't make any of these videos to brag or anything, simply to motivate and show what it's like to be a full-time reseller. And I give all glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would not be where I am today without him in my life, and I'm truly blessed to be able to do this as a full-time job. So everyone out there, continue to hustle, whether you're in the beginning stages of reselling, whether you just enjoy my content, whether you're on the full-time grind like I am, there's literally money to be made in every department of every store. Go find it this quarter for. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.